Welcome to STEM class. You might be hearing a lot about gratitude as we approach Thanksgiving, but why is it important to be grateful? Science studies have shown us that when we say thank you to other people, not only does it help them feel better, it helps us feel happier too. So gratitude is good for everyone. Now, since this is STEM class, what better way to show our gratitude than by engineering something cool? Engineering isn't just for big machines and vehicles, like we saw when you guys made your strong bridges out of paper. You can make some pretty cool things just out of materials you find around your house. Today, we're going to make pop-up thank you cards. I want you to think about someone who helps you. It might be someone at your house, or it might be someone far away. It might be someone in your neighborhood, or someone at the places you go to each day. You decide who you're going to thank. Your assignment for today is to make a pop-up thank you card for someone and deliver it to them. You'll need two pieces of paper, scissors, a glue stick or glue or tape, um, a ruler, and some markers or crayons or something to decorate it with. If you don't have a few of those things, as long as you have a piece of paper, you can probably make it work, so don't give up. I'm going to make an emoji pop-up card, but you can decorate yours however you want. It'll be easiest if you follow along, so pause the video and go get all your supplies and then come back. Are you ready? Good. Take your paper and fold it in half like this. We're going to cut this in half so that we have two papers of the same size. So after we fold it, we'll unfold it and cut along the fold that we just made. One of these halves will be the inside of the card and the other will be the outside of the card. All right, now that we have two smaller pieces of paper, we can fold both of these in half, and this will be the size of our finished card. Next, we're going to make the pop-up part. Take one of your small papers and set it down so that the fold part is closest to you, and the bottom of your ruler is lined up with the bottom of the paper. Then put it so the edge of your paper lines up with the two-inch mark. Now we're going to draw a line here where the zero is, back to the fold. Okay, then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We want two inches from the side, and we want a line that's about an inch long. If you don't have a ruler, that's okay. It doesn't have to be exact. Just try and make your two lines very straight. Then we cut carefully on both of those lines that you drew. This is going to be the part that pops out. So to make it do that, fold this little flap up. Then undo that fold, flip your paper over, and fold it up on the other side. Now open up the card all the way and fold it back the other way. We're making our folds go both ways so that they can turn inside out and fold either way. Okay, then open your card all the way up. And now we can push our pop-out section from the back so that it pops out while the rest of the card folds the other way. Then smooth that out so that all your folds are nice and neat. This pop-out flap isn't very big, but we can attach a bigger piece of paper to it. I'm going to make a smiley face to go on here, but there's all sorts of things you could put here. Pumpkin, somebody's name, some words, an animal. So for my smiley face, I'm going to cut a circle out of another piece of paper. Uh, but I want to make sure it fits, so I'm going to measure and see how much space I have. I can measure and see I have about three inches. So I'm going to make a smiley face that's about three inches. Mark the zero spot, mark the three inch spot, and then try and make a circle that connects them. Draw it with a pencil and then cut it out. Okay, so here's a circle that's about three inches. Before I go any farther, I'm going to test this by putting on my flap and closing the card and making sure it doesn't poke out. Yes, that looks good. But before I glue it on, I want to decorate the background for the smiley face. It'll be a lot easier to draw right here if this is not in my way. This is a good point to think about your whole card design. The other paper that you didn't cut will be the outside of the card like this, kind of like when we made laptops. Do you remember that? And this will be the inside of the card. So I think on my outside, I'm going to make it say, thank you. And on the inside, it's going to say, you make me happy, kind of around the smiley face. And then down here, I'll write my message and who it's from. 
All right, thank you really big on the outside. I'm gonna use my nicest handwriting. If you know how to make fancy letters, that's fun too. I'm going to write, you make me happy, but you could also draw a picture here instead. It's your design. Okay, I still need to make my emoji here, so I'm gonna color in yellow. I guess if I had yellow paper, I could use that too, but I don't, so I'm just gonna color it. Okay, and then I'll draw on the face. And now we can glue our pop-up onto the flap and glue our inner card to the outer card. Make sure you only put the glue on this part of the flap. And we gotta line up the bottom edge of our pop-up with the bottom fold here. We don't want our pop-up getting all folded weird. Okay, and then gluing the inner card to the outer card. We don't need any glue where our pop-up is, but we want glue everywhere else. And try and line up the folds when you glue it. And top and the bottom. Okay, so now we have our pop-up card. Now right here is where I want you to write a little message being specific about what exactly you are thankful for. Draw or write about why you are thanking this person. And make sure you put your name so they will know who it is from. Now all that's left is to deliver it. If you want to take a picture before you deliver it and share it, you can do that, or you could just put a check saying that you did it. There's a lot of different ways to make thank you cards and a lot of people who do things for us every day. Remembering to thank them will make them happier and it will make us happier too. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.